Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill. Today we'll be discussing a collaboration done with Adidas and Crude. And this is on the Campus 2000 silhouette. These are known as the YNUK and they are in the brown desert colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. to another unboxing and review if you're joining us for the first time welcome in today this is our actual first time we are going to be unboxing and reviewing this silhouette these are the adidas campus 2000s this was a collab done with an artist uh, goes by the name of crude and he is portuguese so we'll go through the overview of these jump into size and fit followed by how i style this really cool natural toned sneaker then we will conclude with how much these are going for on the retail market and where you can find them. Let's jump right into it. I definitely was really excited when I saw images of this collaboration release. So they actually dropped this in a series of four packs. So we had the automatic low, the automatic mid, as well as the super modified silhouette, as well as uh, this version. So I was really excited um, out of the four to snag this pair. I think it just resonated with me the most. Uh, and I love the color combination that they decided to go with on this. Uh, for those of you who don't know who Crude is, he is actually an artist um, from Portugal and all of his artwork you can kind of see has been inspired by the early 2000s. Definitely some really cool artwork that you can see actually used on the box here and it's see-through which is also really cool. Um, definitely some style cues that I remember from the early 2000s so I love that he decided to incorporate this artistic vibe to the box making it just a nice creative package all together with the sneaker itself and then we do have some nice artwork on the tissue paper on the inside as well also included with the sneaker you actually get stickers um, as an additional kind of gift with those same uh, art pieces or people that he has drawn out again giving that just really cool early 2000s vibe with how they have been drawn and how their style looks as far as other inspirations, this was also new metal. So new metal, for those of you who don't know, that is, for instance, bands like Korn, Limp Bizkit, Evan Essence, all of whom I remember listening to while I was in high school. Um, but again, just uh, really cool what inspired him to really just creative and artistically um, go with in the background of how he wanted to design and collaborate on this sneaker. So as far as the colorway goes, it's pretty neutral in tone. We've got this brown desert tone all throughout the upper. We've got really thick laces in white, and then we've got just some nice beige and black tones for the branding of Adidas. We also actually get three additional laces, which is pretty crazy. Uh, you know, sometimes you get one or two additional laces, but it's crazy to see that we're getting three here. So you have the choice of this brown tone, this black tone, or this really cool kind of chain linked design that you can also add in there for a more kind of creative fun look. All right, so let's take a look at those details then move along to the side paneling.
All right, so wrapping around to the side panels, the three stripes are in this nice, simple black tone, and then it's embroidered on the outside of that. In between, we've got more of that beautiful, just brown desert color scheme going in between that. On the back, we've got Adidas' logo in white. And on the lateral side is where we see Campus in white as well with that same color blocking tone that you saw on the medial side. On the interior, we've got a graffitied out Adidas logo uh, on the inside in brown. And then the rest of the insole is black while the color of the collar is also in a black hue. The sneaker is then completed with this nice just neutral off-white tone and a gum bottom all right let's take a look at those last and final details size and fit goes this is definitely a chunkier sneaker so great for somebody who has pretty wide feet i have pretty high arch narrow feet so i did have a little bit of extra space i felt like on the edges of my foot uh, but as far as sizing goes i would say stick true to size on this one again take into consideration what type of foot you do have all right so now let's talk about how i style this really cool natural toned sneaker for the first look i decided to go with a cropped white tank that had some floral patterns on the top of it and then i paired that with some nice neutral toned cream pants look I decided to wear a beige mini dress to just really play off the brown hues of the sneaker itself And for the last and final look, I decided to go with some patterns uh, in a paisley print that had kind of a vintage vibe for the shirt with matching pants.
talk about how much these retailed for. So these retailed at $120. They're currently still available on the Adidas website. So if you hadn't take, haven't seen these before and you're interested, definitely hop on over to the Adidas website to check these out. I do think that this is probably my favorite out of the pack that released. Definitely a good, easy to style color scheme. All right, everyone, that is it for this unboxing and review if you joined us for the first time. Thank you so much. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shade TV. We will catch you on next episode.